we'll take questions. We'll start with Chris. That's the obvious one, Curtis. How's that, uh, how's that feel to get the first hit out of the way? <laughs> um, it felt real good to get it out the way. Um, I kind of been like pressing for a little bit, talking to a couple of my teammates, say, hey, just keep pushing, keep pushing. It'll come sooner or later. And um, I couldn't pick a better time for it to come. Um, for the whole how the whole game went because like I'm just I'm glad I got my hit. I'm also glad like I really like got to help the team win too. So that's my biggest thing too for today. The other play that I wanted to ask about was obviously the, the tag for first base gets to second base. Obviously that's a that's a big hustle play right there. Can you just kind of go into that how they went for screen? Um yeah um Rags my mom, my first base coach. He was telling he was telling me, hey, like you're gonna tag up on um, fly ball just in case they're trying to throw um, Jason. I think Jason at third, trying to throw Jason out. Um, let's see, we got we stirred them away from Jason and um, get to me if we can score that run. And I kind of felt how deep he was, and then I felt like he wasn't able to just like fully like come in, like fully gather his th- um, gather his feet and throw. So so I'm kind of catching his back foot. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna go for it because they don't know that I can move a little bit. So I took I took my own chance and I made it in safely. So. Go to Joe. Hey, Curtis. So I was a little surprised to hear you say you were pressing because when we asked uh, Woodward about it, um, he was kind of saying that you were super calm and like, yeah, today is going to be the day. I'm very, you know, very confident about it. You know, was it maybe one of those things where like internally you were kind of pressing a little bit to get that first hit, but externally you were kind of confident about it? Yeah, like internally to me, um, I was kind of pressing, obviously. But then, like, I was actually my teammates. Like, I kept battling, having good at-bats. Like, I wasn't going to show it. Still going to go in there every at-bat, try to help the team win. Like, we do whatever I could do. Even when I wasn't getting hit, so I was able to walk, hit by pitch, stuff like that. So, internally, I was, like you said, a little bit pressing. But the external, obviously, like, for my teammates and for the whole team, just being able to go out there every day and compete and compete as hard as I could to help us um, give us the best chance to win. Kind of building off, you know, what you felt about that Hit, you know, was it just kind of, you know, once you got that first one out of the way, it's like, hey, I can't do this. And then obviously the second one came, you know, two at bats later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, first one I got out of the way, I was like, okay, good. Like, I, I can do this. I can hit up here. And then my rest of my bats, like, the rest of the game, like, I felt way more calm. My approach felt better, everything like that. So, like, um, that hit just, just leading to me, um, like, a little extra confidence. Um, a little less stress um, internally, as you say, and it's slowing the game down a lot, too. That, that also helped me out after that first at-bat. Kennedy. Hey, Curtis. Um, you know, from your point of view, when you see that double steal happen earlier in the game, you know, from the dugout, how big of a, a energy boost is that for the team, you know, seeing that kind of momentum swing in y'all's favor? Oh, it was, it was huge. It was huge. Actually, um... I was by Trevi. Trevi was talking about the whole situation before it even happened. And it happened, and then we were all excited. Trevi was super excited because he's like, bro, I called that, I called that. And it was just good. Like, our whole, like, team chemistry and atmosphere right now is just, just going, like, super up. So, like, that play, us playing good baseball, um, base running, playing defense hard, just everything, like, past three or four days, like, we've just been doing well as a team. So, like, all that good baseball leading to um, some wins. So. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just glad like, I'm able to be a part of it and our team. Like, I feel like we're closer right now since I've been here. So, this is gonna be my next question. I guess you weren't here for a ton of time uh, before the deadline. It was only two or three weeks. But have you seen a notable change since I guess the deadline passed? Kind of got that, I guess, dark cloud put over the team about what's gonna happen when we get to the deadline. Yeah, actually, like, like after it happened, I think we were stretching in a field one day before batting practice, and it was me. Uh, Jason Martin and Eli, um, Eli White, and Jason all, all of a sudden said, man, like, we were all happy, smiling, smiling. like, we, everybody was in a good mood, and Jamar was like, man, I feel like we're going to turn this thing around, we're going to, we're going to get some wins, we're going to play together, be a, like, be a team, and that, and then that's like, three or four days later, like, we're kind of doing that, we're all coming together, pitching in any way we can to help the team win, so, the past couple of days have been really fun, honestly. Okay, last one, Levi. internally but externally you were keeping it together for your teammates right um, that seems like a pretty mature thing to hear from somebody that's a rookie where, where did you learn that is that something that's kind of always been part of your personality or where did that come from um it came from 
like coaches and players since I've been here. Cause um, when I um, when I was like in the minors, stressing, um, pressing, and when I was struggling, you could see it a little bit. And then I knew like coming up here, I started doing a little bit. And, it, and as soon as like someone saw it, like some of the vet, like some of the veteran guys, like hey hey come on, we we need you, team needs you. Like let's keep let's keep this thing going. Don't worry about it. It'll come in due time. So like. Like that, like that's just helped a lot. Just listening to like all the older guys, um, and like my co the coaches who have been here too, who are here too. Like just everybody who's like helped me. Like let me know like you're up here in the Billies. Like it's not about you like learning. It's about helping the team. At the end of the day, it's about helping the team win. So like me knowing that and seeing how these past games go, like it's just exciting to go out there every day. Like just to help the team win, whether I, it be a walk or a big hit, but whatever it is, like just knowing that like you're here, you're here every day to help this um, ball club win games, so. Yeah, on a team where I think there's been some question about not a whole lot of veteran guys, there's not a whole lot of older veterans that have been there. Who, who was it that had those conversations with you? Um, Trevi's not a crazy older veteran guy, but he's been here for like two to three years, so I talked to him a little bit. Um, Brock, Brock and Charlie will talk, like, we'll say something to me a little bit if they feed me down a little bit. Um, um, those are um, those are some of the main guys, I was, like position player-wise, who helped me out a lot. Um, Izzy helped me out tremendously um, since when he was coming up. I j had just signed, so like I've known him and Trevor for a pretty long time. So like, and everybody who see me in spring training knows me. So like, they all just um, been uplifting this whole time I've been here, and I've been I've been so grateful to, like to have that around me, like in the clubhouse. It's honestly phenomenal.